this is the view from my window my guy is over there so some guy park like this you know across the line and his uh, front of his car was towards my uh, trunk so now when I leave I want to go and see that make sure he didn't he didn't hit me or anything you know like why would you park like that you know so basically the guy took he took like two spots you know and he parked like this like my car is here he parks like this anyway I'm uploading uh, another video and it's already getting dark and now we're just gonna do an unpacking of these uh, the fit life the fit life fit life walking sticks and nobody nobody bought these for me i bought them myself on amazon but the reason to purchase them was influenced by my mom my brother bought similar similar sticks for her so there you go so each is 200 grams half a pound and came with a bag of goodies one of them is a little user guide and then yeah that's you see it has these different legs so you can use this you can use this for the snow i guess so there's a set of and then these ones and spare these ones because that's what on them now okay, so there's something like this oh it's probably part of this maybe not I'll have to read the uh, I'll have to read the manual but basically this was uh, 65 bucks 65 bucks like very nice you know easy to grip handle so this was 65 bucks Canadian and it comes with all this so which I'm pretty happy with you know I'm not sure I'm gonna use this maybe this on the snow but you know why would you want to walk on the snow it's very difficult it's good to have this like the but what do I have now yeah I see I have the same one okay uh, yeah it's getting dark I think the Sun is already setting so let's quickly see what we can see here warranty for your lifestyle thank you for your business before using a new product please take one minute to register your warranty Wow, they even have warranty. And then over here, basically it tells you, she tells you how to, uh, how to use the strap. Oh, and this is important. I read about this. The perfect length. So unlike the um, ski, ski poles or ski sticks, the way this works is you have to put your put your hand like your arm like this and it should be a 90 degree angle here between your forearm and your and your shoulder and that's where the stick should be you know and of course it tells you how to adjust the height and then there's a little table here as well 
uh, depending on your height, what it should be. How to disassemble and reassemble the pole. How to use. There is no definitive right or wrong way to use tracking poles for but there are ways that can help you use them more effectively. Here are some tips. And it tells you what to do on a flat, uh, flat terrain when going uphill and downhill and uh, contouring. And then at the end it says, we've received several reports that the bottom section of the pole has bent or broken easily. It's a very a rare case that a pole will break in normal use. Therefore, when using a pole as probe to test unknown terrains or when walking on particularly rocky or uneven terrain, please put your pole on a, on a flat ground, as, on as flat ground as possible as you can to avoid possible bends or breaks. Okay. Huh. So we've received several reports that the bottom section of the pole has been, has bent or broken easily. Of course, that's the danger when using uh, when using when using carbon fiber. It has a, just it's very well looks like a very well made product. So it says it has markings in here, and so I can open it like this, and then I can. See, it's already getting dark. Sorry about this. So it should be, see, it should be 90 degrees. So this one is what? This one is uh, 120. So let's say 120. You see, for me it's a bit, that's why they said 123 centimeters. Or, I think that's good. So there's a marking 125. 125 on this one and 125. on this one. I'll just make him the same.
So basically, you have to uh, tighten these uh, screws, you know, so that it, it's it's like this. So there you have it. So now we're gonna do like this. Yeah, see? That's how you have it, 90 degrees, and then you just walk like this. So let's go test them. Yeah, I'm not gonna go far, I'll just go go for I like this. And then of course later you can uh, I can use uh, I can use can use weights I need the mask inside the hotel If my 84 year old mom can do it, so yeah, see, I like this, like the handles are so nice. So I'll just go like maybe, I don't know, one kilometer, 10, 15 minutes just to try it. First floor. Yeah, feels a bit feels a bit weird because they're so light. How do you <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like a bit funny because they're so light. I know how it would be it would be cool. I think I okay, see this guy was parked like this. All right, I think I got it. It's kind of like like skiing. You see, I'm walking too fast. You have to walk slowly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is cool. Because I was walking too fast and then I... So you gotta find your rhythm. Huh, interesting. Because I'm not sure how... How long these legs will last on the, on the concrete.
One, 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 two, three. Yeah, I think it's good. I feel some I feel some tension in my in my arms, in triceps and uh, in biceps. So this is this is definitely adding some uh, exercise you know some stress to the body yeah so all you need is like basically 100 200 meters you know three four hundred feet and then your body finds the finds the rhythm and that's why these sticks have to be shorter than the skiing sticks because you use them differently right your 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 strides are not as long as with the skis right you just walk normal you know normal steps so this is mississauga we're just uh, slightly northwest of downtown toronto Maybe I should add, you know, I think for pavement I need to check what they recommend because this probably this kind of end maybe it's not suited for hard pavement like this. I might uh, change the I might change the uh, the tips later on. But this might again like I said this is my first time. are very helpful I don't feel any cold at all I just feel the cold wind because of course after sunset it feels pretty cold Yeah, this is I see that uh, they also slipping a little bit the, the tips when the when the stick is behind you I could feel they are slipping a little bit so I think these tips are more for like for a park yeah I can see where those uh, large 
uh, ribbed tips would come in handy on a pavement like this. What if we try to walk here? How would it feel? Or yeah, it feels much nicer. I think that's what these tips are for. You know, these tips are really for for soft. Wow, I like this. I feel like I'm skiing. I hope there's no mines here. Now if this was like Afghanistan, right? Imagine that. Yeah, this is good. So basically, yeah, these are best to be used in a park surrounding, not, not on a hot pavement. All right, I see the exit. We can climb over here. Let me just walk. I like this. It's a bit more difficult, of course, to walk than on a sidewalk, but it's much more useful. And I am uploading a couple of videos. So one is uh, some news what's going on. Then the other one is how I'm installing the BBK throttle body. And then I think the one I'm uploading now is getting uploaded as I'm walking here is the uh, road trip from Cambridge to here and my challenger with the new throttle body oh check this out over here there's no fence and that's my hotel over there beautiful I'm gonna walk here next few days. I'm gonna walk on this field. Yeah, now I I feel the rhythm. I know what to do. This is a this is a good activity. because some people might say hey why do you need this you're a heavy hauler right the problem with heavy hauling well oh, check this out so it used to be a field like a football field the problem with uh, heavy hauling is that i actually i actually work physically like what, maybe three, four hours when I'm loading? And then I'm loading, unloading. But then after that, I don't do anything for, for a few days.
I was actually in much better shape when I was pulling the when I was pulling the uh, the flatbed. Flatbed is definitely more work than than RGM. I can tell you that. I was in a better shape. That's why I carry the kettlebell, the, the barbell plates. All right, so this was just a short test to show you guys what it's like. I think it's a good product. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening.